Okay, we're in section 7.4 and we're talking about partial fractions. Um, I was going to show you some examples now. Uh, so in this first example, suppose that we want to integrate 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 14 divided by x minus 3. Okay, now the first thing that I'm looking for is um, if, it, you know, if I can go to the answer, that's, that's great. Or, or if I can make a use substitution, that's, that's also great. But um, the next thing is that notice that the degree of the top is more than the degree of the bottom. So I got a degree 3 polynomial up top divided by degree 1 polynomial down under. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is divide. Um, so uh, the expression that's in the denominator is always going to go outside the division bar. The expression in the numerator is going to go underneath the division bar. That will always happen. And uh, ready to divide. So um, I need uh, an expression such that the, the leading term is 2x cubed when I multiply it by x minus 3. Well, if I take 2x squared times x minus 3, that's 2x cubed minus 6x squared. Okay? Now, this is a common algebra mistake, but uh, uh, make, make sure that you're subtracting these. Sometimes I'll see where, you know, where algebra students will add them or something like that. Okay? Don't do that. Um, so 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, those are gone. Negative 7x squared plus 6x squared, that's negative x squared. And then 14 minus 0 is 14. Okay, so now I can divide again. So I'm looking at uh, how many times does uh, x minus 3 go into negative x squared plus 14? Well, um, if I take a negative x, so I just want the leading terms to match there, negative x times x minus 3, that'd be negative x squared plus 3x. Okay? And again, I'm subtracting these. So, negative x squared plus x squared, that's 0. 0 minus 3x is minus 3x. And then 14 minus 0 is 14. Okay? And I can divide uh, one more time, it looks like. So, um, uh, I, I, if I tack on a minus 3 there, negative 3 times x minus 3 is negative 3x plus 9. So I'm just wanting the leading terms to match, right? And then when I subtract these expressions, negative 3x plus 3x is 0. 14 minus 9 is 5. Okay, 5 is going to be the remainder. Now, the complete leftover information is going to be a fraction that I'm going to add to the quotient. You're always adding the leftover, okay? So it's going to be 5 divided by x minus 3. You're always dividing by the expression that's outside here, okay? And, uh, all right, so when I, when I actually divide this out, here's what I get, okay? And um, now I can go right to the answer, right? So... Uh, Let's see, the answer is going to be uh, 2x cubed over 3 minus 1 half x squared minus 3x plus uh, 5 divided by uh, 5 times uh, the ln of the absolute value of x minus 3. So again, I'm, I'm using uh, this guy here, okay? Um, and then plus a constant. So you'll, you'll almost always need an, an LN, you know, expression in, in the answer for these. Um, but uh, that, that'd be the answer to that one, though. Okay. Uh, let's try another example. So now in this one, um, notice that the degree of the top is 2, the degree of the bottom is 3. Well, because the degree of the top is not more than the degree of the bottom, uh, I, I don't want to divide this out. Okay, just a use substitution of any kind won't work for me. I can't simplify this uh, so that I get stuff to cancel or, or whatever. So um, the only option is for me to, to use partial fractions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the denominator, x cubed minus x minus 2x, or x cubed minus x squared minus 2x, and uh, let's go ahead and factor that. So x is in common to these three terms here. Let's go ahead and factor out an x. And uh, x squared minus x minus 2, that's going to factor as x minus 2 times x plus 1. Okay? All three of these factors are linear factors. 
So, uh, you know, when, um, when I take 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 divided by x times x minus 2 times x plus 1, I'm going to have uh, a over x plus b over x minus 2 plus c over x plus 1. So I'm just putting constants up top there, okay, because these are linear factors. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and clear out uh, the denominators on both sides of this uh, um, um, equation here. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this by x times x minus 2 times x plus 1. Well, uh, on the left, okay, I'm just going to have 3x squared plus 7x minus 2. On the right, let's see, the x's will cancel. So I'm going to have a times x minus 2 times x plus 1 plus b times x, the x minus 2's will cancel, times x plus 1, plus c times x times x minus 2, uh, and then the x plus 1's will cancel. Okay? The next thing is, uh, let me group the, uh, the squared terms together, the linear terms together, and the constants together. So, when I FOIL this out, I'll have ax squared, and then here's plus bx squared plus cx squared. If I factor out an x squared from those three terms there, I have a plus b plus c times x squared. Okay? Um, the next thing is, uh, so that I've got x minus 2x, that's uh, negative x, um, and then uh, plus bx minus 2cx. Okay, so again, if I factor out an x, the left over there would be uh, negative b or negative a plus b minus 2c. And then um, uh, it's going to be a minus 2a uh, left as, as the constant part. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, so these two sides are equal, right? So the constants have to be the same thing. In other words, 3 has to be the same thing as a plus b plus c, okay? 7 has to be the same thing as negative a plus b minus 2c. That's what I got. And then negative 2 has to be the same thing as negative 2a, okay? So I'm, I'm forming a system of equations there, and I'm, I'm wanting to find a, b, and c. Okay, so uh, when I solve this system, divide both sides by negative 2, uh, a is, is 1, and it looks like. And if a is 1, then um, let's see if I subtract 1 from both sides on this equation, I got b plus c equals 2. And then if I add 1 to both sides on this equation, I got b minus 2c equals 8. Okay. Um, if we then subtract these two equations, that b minus b is zero. Here's a plus two, or excuse me, c plus two c. That's three c. And then two minus eight is negative six. So knowing that means that uh, if I then divide both sides by three, c is negative two. Okay, and then if c is negative two b minus 2 equals 2, that means that b is 4. Okay, so a is 1, b is 4, and c is negative 2. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, because these two sides are equal, then uh, when, you know, and this is the, the, the function that I'm integrating here, then uh, let's see, let's go ahead and replace it by... Uh, um, a divided by x plus b divided by x minus 2 plus c divided by x plus 1. We know a, b, and c. So we're integrating 1 divided by x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 minus 2 divided by x plus 1. Okay, that allows us to go to the answer. So you got the ln of the absolute value of x, don't forget about the absolute value bars, plus 4 times the ln of the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 2 times the ln of the absolute value of x plus 1, then plus a constant. Okay? Um, so, and by the way, um, also, you know, I, I set up a system of equations here 
on both sides of this. So it, here's just another option that you can consider with this stuff. So if I let x be zero, you know, that's gonna knock out these terms. I got negative two a equals negative two. So a is one. If um, if I let x be, uh, be two, next, that's gonna knock out uh, that term and that term. So I have uh, 2bx times uh, 3 is 3 is a, is a 6b equals, and then um, if uh, x is 2 over here, I get 24. It should be, so 6b equals 24, that means that b is 4. And then if I let x be uh, negative 1, that's going to knock out these two terms there. So uh, negative c times uh, negative 1 or negative three, that's a uh, 3c equals, and then if, uh, if x is negative one over here, I get uh, negative six. So 3c equals negative six, that means that c is negative two. Okay, it's just another option that you can consider. Now, now you know, rather than setting up a system of equations, so I, I kind of prefer to use a system of equations just because you're not always gonna have it be where, you know, these terms cancel out and, uh, and and you can 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 have this this plan work out where you know you get a b and c and and, and you're not always going to have a a b and c you know you might have a just a and b you might have a b c d e and you know it's, it's stuff like that so um, I, I I'd kind of suggest setting up a system of equations and then solving the system that's that's going to be your best option there okay um, so we'll look at some more examples. Uh, Coming up, uh, well, let, let's go ahead and stop the video right here, and we'll we'll pick up with that uh, in the next one here.